a tragedy has stuck. We have lost. Um, we we kept probably the most important one villager, but this guy I was really not super. Basically, I lost two of my librarians, the feather falling one included, which I am devastated about because the blocks up here, that one. Nope, I'm gonna put that back. That one, not that one. Uh. I put other torches down here too. Some of them, like that one and that one for sure, were too dark and mobs could spawn there at night and oh my god, they can go up the tower. I didn't know villagers could use ladders. That's hilarious. Uh, and so yeah, I, I lost two of my librarians. Um, most important one, the one I actually came here for is still alive, which is good. However, unfortunately, I can't buy, I was relying I wanted to buy um, some more books from them, and the guy that I was buying books from has died. So that sucks. But we'll. No. Uh, mm, oh, actually, we can leave that there. So where is. There's my anvil. I'm putting mending onto my pickaxes. My, yeah, both of them. And these pickaxes are going to be the pickaxes I use forever. Hopefully, I never break them. I'm going to be turning them into netherite pickaxes. Those are my, those are hopefully my forever pickaxes. They're already efficiency five and everything. They're ready to go. Um, I just need a source of experience to keep them repaired. And I've been working on that. Right now, I've kind of got like several small sources of experience that I can pick up on every so often. Um, I can do a little bit of villager trading once in a while. I can kill or breed cows for experience. And there's of course mining. Um, I've got small trickles of XP, but I need to get a flood. I need a consistent, reliable, few methods of experience that I can unlock. And um, I'm not certain what I'm gonna do. I could, I could go the farm industrial route and create like a cactus farm that smelts cactus or um, some some other fuel source. Uh, if I had bamboo, I could make a kelp smeltery system that automatically. Wait, I don't know if cooked kelp can be composted. Anyway, what I'm imagining is I want to have a system that creates bone meal out of like sugarcane or cactus or whatever, and that bone meal creates bamboo because you can bone meal bamboo now. That bamboo is furnace fuel for my XP farm, and that way I don't have to worry about crafting fuel for my XP farm anymore. All I have to worry about is making sure the chests at the at the like the output end don't get full, and there are all kinds of ways prevent that from happening so i'm very excited about that that means i can make massive massive xp storage things and the only limit is how much bone meal i produce pretty exciting stuff so right now i'm going to go get a single blaze powder i'm pretty sure it was over here i saw the like the foot of the uh the fortress yeah there it is cool so i need a single blaze powder and the reason for that is because I want to make an ender chest so I can... Because I have to do a bunch of mining. I can't even... Even if I get a beacon, I can't use it. I don't have enough structure blocks. So the plan is to... Oh, shoot. This is going to be annoying. The plan is to get an ender chest so I can bring one with me when I go mining. And use that to, like, double the length of my mining trips. And hopefully with that, I'll be able to, uh, to get enough resources to get a beacon sooner and then once i get the beacon i'll just then go mining again but you know more efficiently <laughs> and then get resources to make my storage room because i already i'm already really starting to feel the, the the pinch of not having one it's it sucks so that's what we're doing right now um i guess i'm gonna record this because who knows i could die over the lava lake with that gas right there oh that's didn't really want to see an overhang also i'm not I'm not as far over as I thought I was. Let's just keep going this way then, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Blazes! I need just a couple of your rods. This is a really nice starting uh, spawner. It's covered and everything. That's really sweet. I'm going to get, I don't know, more than that. I want to make a brewing stand. It needs fuel, and I also want to make a chest. So we need a couple. Whenever you're ready, Blazes. Wh whenever you're ready, Blazes. Is it is it because I'm here? They're shy. There we go. Seven. We'll kill one more. One more. Just one more. Just one more. 
I don't think this is the way I want to go. If I got a fortress that didn't have any of the uh, nether wart spots, I'm going to be sad as heck. Oh, hang on. Oh! Ah, oh my god, my heart! Oh my god, my heart! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> that's why you- That's why she get feather falling, my guys! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a head rush that is a head rush let me tell you ah wow <laughs> that could have been way worse i am lucky that wasn't lava <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god yep okay there's the wart i see it we have the wart wart collected Ooh, extra wart <sighs> so all i have to do is go get that that warp force i'm sure i'll survive i don't need to record anymore Oh my god, I found a jungle. I actually found a jungle. We didn't find Ice Spike, which is the last thing on our list. We can make do without it if we have to, but we found a jungle. I I really thought I was going to have to use mine atlas to look it up. But we don't. We've done it. We found it. So right now, I can't tell if the noise in the background is the excavator or my air conditioning. That's excavator. Um, right now, I, uh, I'm on my way to go get netherite. We've got wool, we've got wood, we've got fire resistance, we've got enchanted gear, blast protection on our boots is going to be really, really nice, uh, fire protection, leggings, not ideal, everything else, protection, protection. So we should be pretty okay with the blasting method, uh, that Nembomb pioneered. Nor I would prefer to use TNT, I will admit. I, I think that's a, a method that it's easier and faster. This one's a lot more effort. However, I don't have that yet. So if I want netherite now, which I do very much so, I've got to go with this with the bed method, which is the meta anyway. But uh, it is what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to pretty deep, and we're going to... I think what my plan is is actually to just like blow up the whole area and I'm going to do my nether highways actually at the like bottom of the world where I'm blowing up stuff anyway. So I've got to get under this lava lake. So I need to find a shoreline. I think over here we're headed towards the uh, the fortress where I access my fortress. That Yeah, this is where it is. Yeah, but do I have a way down here? Is it those both of those striders are riding other striders that is so silly okay um hmm i guess we'll just dig down here and hope it goes all the way to below the lava lake <laughs> oh okay that looks that's promising that is promising bed and bed perfect so we're going to drink our potion of fire resistance because I'm not trying to get uh, lit on fire. And that feels like it's kind of close. Ah, that's fine. And then we just run through. Oh, sometimes it blows up the floor and that's fine. Just make sure that this block here is there. You see it's taking like all of the damage. And if you're being like careful which I am not being particularly careful for a hardcore world, I would eat and make sure I'm full between every single one. Oh yeah, there's some debris. Uh, what else? We got some more debris somewhere. Show me the debris. Um, there's some debris. Okay, that's it, so debris. So a lot of people, what they do is they'll, they'll blast the room a second time. Uh, and so they'll go here. And then they'll go into like the middle-ish of it. Place a second bed and blast again. 
I don't think I plan I'm gonna do that. Oh, but then it clears it up the way I want it to. I think I will do that actually, turns out. <laughs> Cause then you get rid of like the wall that connects them and you've got this open room like I wanted. So yeah, we're gonna do this for a while until we get enough. We want a lot of netherite. I need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tools. And then I want two lodestones. So I need 12 times four. That's only 48 netherite. Okay, I need 48 netherite. Is that... That's, that's That feels like the math. Okay, so we need 48 netherite. Um, great. Well, two stacks of wool gave us 13 debris, which is not ideal. We are about... What's that? Almost about a fourth? Yeah, that's just over a fourth of what we need. Um, the area we're in here is like there's like a lot of pools of lava at like oh thank you um there's a lot of pools of water i'm gonna get to that in a second pools of lava not water it is not made of water pools of lava at like up just above there i think that's like the lava lakes actually but then like in this section it's right down here so i'm not getting very much debris out of this part but uh once we get back with more wool because apparently i just need ridiculous amounts more wool We'll be able to resume our surprisingly expensive project. So I've given it a lot of thought on what items I'm going to use the netherite on. And obviously I'm going to use my pickaxes. But the sword, I don't I don't want to keep the sword. I would like a smite sword instead. I prefer smite because it can very easily one-shot a lot of enemies. Whereas sharpness can one-shot not as many enemies. So I don't want to do the sword. I don't want to do the shovel because I hate it. I hate it. I want to soak that shovel. And this this is this axe is obviously insufficient. However, this hoe also only has efficiency three. So you can see the problem I'm having. I don't want to do my boots because I'd like to do it on uh, regular protection boots. Uh, I could do it on my chest plate because it is technically done, but I'm also not going to wear a chest plate forever when I switch to an elytra. So my hat, my I don't have an option to use this netherite ingot on. I could get a better hoe and then do it on that, and I honestly think that's the plan. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and enchant a new tool and either gotta get a silk touch shovel or a an efficiency four hoe, and that's that's the plan. I found a spawner! What is it? What is it? Skeletons? That's not really what I need. Uh, oh, it didn't even have a disc. Got some saddles though. Cool. Um, mm, I'm probably not going to use the skeleton grinder. Oh, that's just a cave system. Okay. So, interesting. I had no idea this was here. And so close. Where if you, you definitely don't know. It's just right there. Actually... I may be able to get some use out of that because this is really close to where I plan on putting my main base. That is huge. Holy cow! That actually changes everything. That's a big deal. All right, we went ahead and we built a uh, a sheep pen. I I'm gonna breed it more than this. I want there to be more sheep in here, but not by a whole lot. I want it to be a spacious sheep sanctuary where I can get plenty of wool. Like I can kind of just continually shear now. I want to be able to get plenty of wool while the sheep are all happy and comfortable. It's an ethical sheep farm. I don't know where these stupid zombies keep getting in from, but they are. And it's always over there, so there must be some way they can walk over. All right, we have three more buyers of netherite, and we don't really have anything to put it on. That's worth it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get new equipment. That's really just... That's what it boils down to. I need to get stuff. I need to get uh, a new sword. I think I'm going to focus on a new sword and or shovel will be my priority. So we need XP. We need a lot of XP, actually, now that I'm thinking on it. Mm. I want to do... So my potatoes and carrots and that sugar cane are all fully grown. Hopefully selling that to villagers will give me enough XP to get lucky enough on one or two enchantments. We'll see what we can pull out. We've uh, we've been here for, I don't know, a little while. 30-ish minutes, give or take, based on how many uh, fire resistance potions I've had. And we've got our third skull, which means 
we can make a beacon after we successfully kill the wither after we get enough blocks for the base but that means that we'll be able to much more easily get resources after that point so i've got 30 levels which is enough to enchant and hopefully get a good sword um we're gonna go back we're gonna enchant we're gonna see what we can enchant we have so many things that we need xp for and then we're just gonna i think grind out to try to get resources out of whatever combination of blocks we can get if it's part emerald part diamond part iron part gold then fine we'll make a beacon base and then we'll go and um and see about about getting rich so we now if we combine our our resources like all of them if we combine all of this we have enough blocks that we can make a beacon base and we can finally start mining and getting resources which means i need to kill a wither and i don't want to cheese this one i feel like it wouldn't be very gerald of rivia if i cheesed it so i'm not gonna cheese it um i have to do this the the legit way so first of all let's take two of these um and i'm going to update these two items for that extra little bit of oomph you know this one i can always add the other two enchantments i want on it just to give me that extra little bit of tankiness I think I know what I'm going to do to, to, to defeat this man, but it's going to take me a bit. So I'll, I'll compile the resources I need, the items, and I'll show you in a moment. All right, so the strategy is we're going to consume all of our consumables, and then we're going to summon him, and then hopefully kill him before the end of this hallway. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I'm going to get away with this. I don't know how long the hallway is supposed to be. So here's here's hoping that uh we've got enough oh that one's got to be last because it has the shortest duration okay and we drink that one as he's uh spawning in i think is the meta okay interesting i see what it is i think Let's try that again. There we go. So, we have to do the bow as the bow stage. I think we've got plenty of distance. Look at this cobblestone mine he's doing for us. Running out of health makes you die. This is easy. He's not even dangerous. Okay. <clears throat> that was easy as heck. <laughs> okay, we are now the beacon. Is that an achievement for making a beacon? Do I have... Okay, do I have to... Mm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, you got to you got to place it. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Does it have to have a base? Is it like a little bit of a base and then a full base? Is that what those are? Advancements. Ah, okay. I see. All right. Here it is. That is dark. Oh. oh, we did it. We are so fast. I am speed. Hang on. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Finally, we are we are actually I think we're gonna be getting our our our, our sword, um, sweeping edge and smite. So I should be able to smite, smite, sweeping edge. Now can I? 
23 levels. Oh, no, the sharpness takes over if I swap it. There we go. 27 levels. Shoot. That's not great. But at 27 levels, we have our sword. We have it. And then we can... Oh, oh. Oh, this is this is a great day to be alive. Okay, perfect. So I guess I'm gonna squeeze out twenty three some odd levels. And yeah. Okay, we managed to trade up the XP. It took a little bit more effort than I would have liked, but that's fine. Oh, we're finally gonna have our sword, and this will be the sword that we use for the rest of forever. So we go here. We do its sharpness and then nope, because that still comes out. That is still sharpness. We want the smite first. That's smite five, sweeping, mending, looting. No knockback, because I don't like it. No fire aspect, because I don't like it. Now we go and we take this brand new masterpiece of a weapon, and we plop the ingot on it. And this is actually a big upgrade, because this will allow me to one-shot a lot of enemies. Like skeletons, anything, without even having to crit. Which is huge. It's so good. Here she is. Oh. And we just, uh, oh, please don't shoot me. We just found, I think that's another skeleton spawner, which is kind of a shame because we don't need that. Yeah, it's another skeleton spawner. We don't really need this, but um, we did get a new music disc. So, neato, I guess. New music disc. All right, so we're just here trading with, uh, or I say bartering, trading with these guys trying to get soul speed. Uh, that was our first stack of gold. Soul speed is the last thing we need for our suit of armor to be- Oh! Soul speed three? Soul speed. Okay, one more of those. One more of those, and we're done. We, we've got all the enchantments we want on our suits of armor. And we can go ahead and make it full netherite. I'm really amazed. They've got some really worthwhile trades, or drops here. Like, these are really useful. I saw like the individual items. I had no idea like the string, the iron nuggets, when you get that one, that's a couple pieces of iron. Like this is pretty good. It's an easy way to get ender pearls. Like you, you don't even have to kill, like they're everywhere. They're easy. That one was only like one piece of iron, but still, this is a lot of string per, a lot of string per. It's a really good source of glowstone actually for how many you get as well. This is just, it's strong. This is strong. The potions are probably their worst tr drop. Um, I even like the gravel. Oh, there it is. We're done. That's everything. Cool. So these are not the boots we're going to be upgrading. We've got a different, a different couple boots. You guys can keep those. Perfect. So, yeah, so we've got a different set of boots back at home that we're going to stick these onto, and then we just got to add the um, the netherite to it, which we don't have yet. But that means we'll, we'll, we'll be in our full set of armor, and then we just need our shovel is ready, and our axe is the last item. Then we just want two lodestones. So we still need a fair bit of netherite, admittedly, but we can, we can, we can get what's important. All right, we just traded up the levels required. For 21 levels, we can finish our boots. Oh, I'm so excited. Holy cow. So, I'm just going to go run around in some soul sand real quick. <laughs> uh, these boots, almost good. They're missing soul speed, but they're blast protection, so we can probably upgrade them later on. But really what you want to have, generally speaking the hell is you want to have blast protection or uh, regular protection holy cow there you go that's how we travel ah that's some speed ka -chow. beautiful perfect all right so now that we've got our stuff i'm gonna go for i think i need six more netherite ingots two lodestones these two things and these two things. I'm not ready for the axe yet, but we'll just have it. So however many we get, at least at least three would be nice, but I'd like to get six. So we've already got our beds in and we're gonna blow up a bunch. All right, we've got our five netherite ingots. Um, 
I guess I'll just no I don't I'm not gonna put it on the axe because that really doesn't make sense to do because I might not even be able to keep that but that does give us our full set of netherite armor okay um yeah and full set of netherite armor and my shovel now which is nice um I'm gonna make it okay I know the recipe for the lodestone nobody has to tell it to me because I already I already know it I just need I think it's eight and then hey, hey, hey very cool and then um I have to find a place to put it let's make it go into like here that'd be neat and then um, a compass. He gets a compass. He uses the compass. Nice meme. Cool. So now I can keep just kind of keep this right. I need to get more ender chests. That should be a upcoming priority. So I can keep that kind of with me ish and that way i can always find my way home which is really cool instead of having to use coordinates because i don't really like having to wander around with this up this is really sweet so we're getting ready to build our sorting system we've got most of our components pulled together the big thing i'm missing now is wood for chests still we need more chests and also i really need pickles um, pickles can be found in specific, like the coral reef portions of warm oceans. I have already found one singular warm, <clears throat> one singular warm ocean, and uh, it had no such coral. So uh, we, we've got quite an adventure ahead of us. Okay, so we found a warm ocean. If we're lucky somewhere in the expanse we will find coral and pickles even just i think pickles i'd be okay with i think i have some coral i bought from a wandering trader at the base so there are some pickles you can find that aren't in the like coral biome okay free bell i guess um in the coral biome and i'd even just take those because i'm pretty i am almost certain that i have that so here's here's hoping wish me luck i guess Ladies and gentlemen, we have found what we were looking for. A coral reef, which means that there are definitely pickles. So I just finished placing all of the chests and hoppers that I had, which was all of the iron and more than all the wood I had. And um, we are like... Uh, how, what's that? That's, uh, that's one... One, two, three, four, five. We are 20%, I'd say about 22% done. Wow, this is an expensive project. I, I think I have to reevaluate the order with which I am doing things because that is a lot of iron and it'll take me a long time to mine that, especially since I don't have so many things. Wow. Oh my gosh, this hits like a bus. So I think what I need to do is I need to change up and reevaluate an awful lot of things. Um, I think I need to... I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck between Iron Farm or Killing the Dragon and getting Shulker Boxes to making mining easier. Um, the reason I'm considering the Shulker Boxes and not the Iron Farm is just because it's been so long since I made an Iron Farm, and I'm apprehensive over my ability to do it, to be honest. And the Shulker Boxes are familiar and something I know, which means that I should do the Iron Farm, doesn't it? Because I, I, I need to practice that knowledge. I guess I'm making an Iron Farm next. 